All right, why you must check your man's phone? Let's watch this video together uh, from Seda Boyd and let's learn something. Ladies, you can learn one or two things. Your boyfriend's phone today and save yourself from future heartbreak. You know, it is silly of you as a girl. Say you did date man, you know they check your phone. How now? Why now? Every girl in a relationship, suppose they check a man's phone at least twice every month. If you are even less busy, check his phone two times a day. Especially when it is a serious relationship. Wait, now men chicks are the follow talk -o. Not beside chicks, so. Uh -huh, let me make it clear. Before you go check phone now, they'll give you blow for eye. This message is only for men chicks. Now tell me, how can you be dating a man man where you feel married for future you and the man no say on a feel married and i feel even though they talk about children already how many children wanna go born how wanna go live and you know they checking phone talking about i don't check my man's phone because you respect boundaries and that man will leave you for a room for one minute go marry come back Build family outside, you no go know because what you respect boundaries. Any man that you plan settling down with, now don't come a long way. Man, where you they committed to in phone, that's be your second phone. Except you don't love yourself, you are willing to cry. Because what till you not do for relationship, you know fit start and for marriage. Oh. I always say this: do not believe what men say. When you check their phone, you will know the truth. You will know how they truly feel about you. If you are truly their one and only, or one of the many, person they call your man back to back, you they see him they excuse himself to go make suspicious calls you know you feel a mo your instincts tell you oh but you rather throw away face that's the way you they avoid where you no one see for your phone you go see him for real life Eh, i tell you mature minded girl you don't care about little things like his phones you don't intrude you mind your business for person where you want marry you for person where you go spend your whole life with you for person where you go born for are you sure you don't want to know are you sure you don't want to do some fbi duties <laughs> i'm protecting my mental health i don't want to see anything in his phone Eh, your mental health will see protects you are you sure you don't want to check his chat with his best friend i mean go through the gist or you rather believe what he tells you and trust him hope you know it's silly to trust people people will shock you do you want to be sure or you rather overthink do you really it is not when you check his phone but when you overthink and live in your head when you doubt his love for you but you don't want to clarify that is the real mental Image. beautiful ladies check his phone today one more advice before you check that phone drink like two bottles of shepherd because between your eye if you see your head feel no career it is a route but you have to take it if you can't check phone not see anything don't forget to do quick transfer be a sharp gear delete the debit then use half of the money cook for him the next day for being a good boy after two weeks we visit that phone they know they trust man oh. i am say the voice the voice of the girl child check your all right all right all right all right all right How does... where do we go from hmm. where do we go from here all right first of all did you guys hear that <laughs> did you were you guys able to hear that uh let me hear your take oh let me see your take i'm patient mm -hmm. i mean how can you do a follow-up on that? I don't understand. What's lost though? You're looking for the phone. So I have a couple of questions, okay? She mentioned self-love. She said self-love. All right. So if you notice, a lot of people have been throwing the, the phrase around self-love. I don't know if you've noticed. I've noticed it. Some of the loudest weirdos on the internet, they also use self-love the same phrase they use the same phrase okay they say narcissist boundaries she also mentioned boundaries self-love all these things they mention all these things so i don't know you know why you must check did she make a good case do you guys think you should check your your boyfriends she said main chick your main boyfriends make sure you're a main chick first that's another thing she mentioned make sure you're a main chick before you so you don't collect blue for eyes nanny says she's funny i do think she's funny i do think she's a clown actually and we read she be that's your people that say that okay i'm not calling that a weary i'm just saying you don't want to have this kind of person as a daughter would you want a daughter like this maybe it's confidence right it's just confidence she just show off herself that's all she's have self-love she called it self-love check everything she gave a few advice so a lot of advice there you know mara said is she just chasing clicks ah she will get this quick so she just gets a little of uh brand awareness here too 
some people didn't know what Sida Budge was, but now they know. But she has followership like that. Uh, Nanny say, nah, she's still young. This girl is supposed to be preparing for marriage at this age, okay? Never mind what social media tells you. Anybody who is... Um, anyway, let me reserve it because what you mean by young can require some context too. She's not too young. She means exactly what she's doing. She's making money on social media, dishing this advice. And there are grown women listening to her. There's usually a reason why grown men will listen to her because she's hitting a nerve. Maybe people that already feel like there's lack of trust in their relationship, right? So there is, uh, there's a real reason why they will connect with what she's saying from a, from a place of pain. So there are real reasons for that. So if you have a healthy level of insecurity in your relationship, you're not going to see Seda Boja. She's joking. I promise you, Ali. you're not because she's landing some really nice punches there. Uh, Adam Inquay says, insecurity is troubling her. She has to engage herself in more positive things. Yeah. Especially her followers, whoever is really engaging her. There are some people that follow her just because they are catching crews. Hello, me. Okay. Uh, but also to address some of these points, because I'm sure some, some, some of this will go over the way of the head of people that can relate. But I think a sizable amount of uh, the market share actually take it to heart. And she just touched somebody's nerve and somebody is literally right now calling around the house looking for a way to check the phone. And, and somehow they're not thinking it all the way through, of course, but there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's something that has, there's a feeling that has to be relieved, you know? So, Mario said, thanks to you, I know of her. <laughs> sorry, oh. sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, but let's let's address some of this thing in a way that I think we can. There's something I want to bring up here in this conversation, okay? Uh, let's see, let's have it, let's have it, let's have it. Somebody who feels the need to check her partner's phone, which one of these six basic needs are they trying to satisfy? certainty variety significance growth contribution which one of these needs on the screen do you think they're trying to satisfy that's a question that i want us to really think through okay while you're at that right in most most popular influencers on the internet they, they are laced with truth probably 80 plus percent truth but 20% uh, or less poison. All you need is the poison. Okay. And these are some poisons on the screen. Okay. So poison number one, shaming, insult, blame and fault, judgment, condemnation, guilt, discreet logic, sarcasm, condescension, right, wrong, obsessed. That, that two or three of these poisons and are in her rhetoric. So I'm wondering if you guys can pick it apart. Keep in mind that she said, don't believe what man says. The question is why? Why shouldn't you believe what man says? Okay. Mario says certainty. She doesn't feel safe. That's a fact. That's absolutely. Also very related to what I said earlier, which is insecurity, right? Yeah. So. You're trying to satisfy a sense of certainty, but your strategy around it is what the question is. So it's, these are real painful things that people go through that makes, like though anybody that gets popular, even if they're acting, there's a reason. They're hitting real nerve at an emotional level. That's why, because if not, it won't go viral. It's as simple as that, okay? So it doesn't matter if it's fake or not. So it doesn't matter if she's pretending or she's just trying to crash clout or not. There's a real thing going on here right now. So again, which one of these poisons do you think is uh, trying to? She she's basically she has an, uh, she has a message. Check your phone. Check your phone. Why? So you can protect yourself, right? But what is the poison in all of this, right? In everything she said. I see number five, but there's at least two other three or th or three other ones there. Let me know. I'm just going to move on to the next story. 
Uh, shout out to Uncle Ben. I see Uncle Ben. I see you, brother. So let me know what your thoughts are. Share that in the chat in the comment section. But let's move on to the other story because I'm running out of time today. Uh, we got to talk about Token Makiwa. Okay. We got to talk about Token Makiwa. But right now, before we get into Token Makiwa, I want us to talk about the debate that I shared yesterday in the backstage. If you're not in the backstage, I'm sorry, you you have to ask for it and I'll get you in. If you don't ask for it, I, will, I, I stop posting it because there's too many spamming going on. So we we'll stop sharing the backstage. Just focus here. We have a community page also where you can see all the material. But I shared uh, a, a debate in the backstage. Hopefully some of you guys watch it. But if you didn't watch it, I have a recap and some lessons. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, turn up your notifications so you're notified when we go live. I'll be right hey, Prestige back. fam, show some love to the video. Hit like, subscribe, and share. Are you in Europe, America, and struggling your relationship? From argument to abuse and trust issues, we're here to help. Lola and I founded uh, Prestige Marriage Academy to transform your story. With 20 years of friendship, 17 years of marriage, experience with navigating the ups and downs of marriage, and personalized coaching includes 24-7 support. Ignorance is expensive. WhatsApp us at plus one seven three two three zero five eight five seven seven to book a free discovery session today and take charge now. Don't wing it. Join us in creating the love life you, you deserve. deserve.